and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my experience with the Lee Precision Priming Tool. Now my old Lee uh, hand priming tool died on me. Uh, this is all that I have left of it is the handle, which is what snapped. The whole other, the whole rest of it was fine, um, but the handle died. So I had to buy a new one, handle that is, but they don't make the whole thing anymore. So I have to buy a whole new pan priming tool. So I went ahead with this one, which I mean, it looks pretty darn sturdy. This is all cast, it's hard metal. This looks, this handle looks pretty beefy. Whereas the old one is very thin, although it survived 20,000 rounds, plus or minus. I don't really know, something like that. So this one looks like it's a lifer. So I'm gonna be good with it for a long time. Now it comes with these little plastic inserts. Shove in here, here, you put your little piece, you put in your cartridges and you prime away. Now the design of this is actually horribly flawed and kind of overly complicated when you look at it. Um, the primers, they slide in from this priming, priming tray. And there's this little elevator. Whenever you press this down, it'll push one up and it should fall into, well, where it's going to be pressed into your cartridge. Um, the dimensions aren't great. Uh, they're a little bit under the right amount, so it doesn't go quite through. Sometimes you have to shake it. Uh, other times I kind of had to push it through with a fine pin. Uh, it's really a lot more headache than it's worth. Not only that, which I mean, that wasn't the catastrophic failure. I guess I could have lived with that, although it would have been a pain in the butt most of the time. That wasn't even the issue. So after about 120 rounds through this, um, this little plastic insert, um, this is for the small primers, it broke after about 150, which I mean, I'm like, wow, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> so anyway, I have some 308s to reload as well. So I'm like, I'll put this one aside whatever, and I noticed where it cracked. I put the one for the 308 in here, and I primed away. I got it through about 60, until the one of the 308 cracked. Guess where? In the exact same place. And I was having the exact same feeding issues as I did with the small primer the whole time. Additionally, another thing I feel I should mention is how non-smooth this feels when you're priming. It feels like you're trying to push something that's improperly fitted it just feels, it's like a bad bolt on a cheap rifle. It just grits on through there. Adding a drop of lubricant in there did help tremendously for that issue, just for shoving this little pin up when you're priming, that is. So our next issue is that this one cracked as well. So now I have zero primer inserts and I, I need to shoot, right? I obviously, I shoot every weekend. So I went ahead and I bought the update kit, which, which the retailer told me that uh, these are the updates. So clearly they must be better, right? He didn't specifically say that. He just said they were the update. I'm assuming they're better, but they're even worse. I got through even less. I think I got through about 80 on the big, on the large primers on the old one. And on this one, I got through about 40 and about 60 on the small primer, which is even worse. And they cracked in exactly the same spot and they had the same feeding issues. Um, guys, honestly, these, it looks like they're made by the lowest bidder with the cheapest plastics using the most complex method to do it. I don't know who was in charge of the design, but that should have been their last job. They should be put back to mop duty. 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 That's kind of rude, but it's kind of my opinion. After buying, you know, this is a $65 kit. Well, just this, right? It doesn't come with anything else. Uh, this is a $12 update, okay? Uh, you know, you might be assuming that I don't know how to prime. Well, I primed about 20,000 with the old one. So I'm assuming I'm pretty good. Anyway, so I bought the updated kit and it died even sooner. So what do I do then? Well, I contact the reseller and I, I let him know. And so what does he tell me? Lee will send you some new inserts, an updated insert, which is the exact same updates that I bought. And guess what? They're still in the bag. Why? Well, because I'm going to sell this heap of junk. <laughs> Obviously heavy, heavily discounted and I hope they don't see my review, <laughs> but they should research the product first. No, I'm gonna tell them. But anyway, guys, 
I'm gonna strongly recommend you do not buy this lead priming tool. If you have one, you know what? Let me know your, your experience in the comments below. I really want to know, do you have the same awful experience as I do? Is it better? Hmm? Anyway, what I do recommend you do, because I mean, I'm not going to try these new inserts. I'm just going to completely give up and sell this and get rid of it. I bought the Frankfurt Arsenal. Now, contradictory to the Lee that has almost every part that's important in plastic, the Frankfurt Arsenal has almost I think it only has one plastic part. Actually two, I lied, two. So uh, it has the primer tray, which is actually a pretty interesting design, far better than I would say the Lee, which I mean, you pop this, you flip it open, you put your primer tray, like obviously you put this on top, you flip it upside down, you take off your primer tray, you shake it about, you flip it like this, but sooner or later, this little plastic hinge is gonna crack. It's just, a fact of life, it will crack. Uh, other than that, some of them did manage to flip back upside down even with this closed, so I don't really know what that's about. And they kind of got a little bit jammed in the mouth here. I don't know what that's about either. With the update kit, it did come with a new one, which did the same damn thing. Very disappointing. Anyway, with this, it's also plastic, so it could break, but it's there's no hinge on it, so likely it would only break if I stepped on it or I dropped it, which is just something that'll happen with about anything. The interesting thing on this design is once I've closed it, you know, just because I'm on camera, it's a little difficult. Once I close it, I can flip it upside down. I can try to shake them out, but they won't fall. Why? Because it has this little gate here. If I open the gate, they'll just all pour out like that. Anyway, enough of the primer tray, which is actually fairly good. Uh, let's look at the priming tool. This priming tool has one plastic piece, one, and everything else in here is made of some sort of metal. And this thing feels like it was made in the 1800s to last 500 years. It is pretty darn heavy and it's fairly comfortable in the hand. And I mean, I'm really happy with this purchase. It is more expensive than Lee by about $20, but I mean, I spent 12 bucks in inserts extra. I would have to buy another insert again, or I would have to ship these back normally. Lucky for me, the reseller just contacted them and I sent a lot of pictures and they just sent me some for free. Uh, but anyway, $85 and you likely have this one for life, for your kid's life, for your grandkids' life, life and their grandkids. Uh, and it comes additionally with all of these little pieces that you're gonna need, well, yeah, at some point, unless you just stick to one caliber, which the Lee you don't. It comes with none of that. You just have to buy these extra. And likely at that point, you would have spent the same amount as if you had just bought the Frankfurt Arsenal. So what am I recommending at the end of the day? To save yourself some trouble, buy the Frankfurt Arsenal, buy it once, buy it right. I mean, that's, that, that's something I've learned uh, quite well on this channel. You know, I've bought a lot of budget optics, uh, tons and tons of them actually. I mean, some of them are pretty decent. Some of them are decent for the price, like $30. I mean, and they were three to nine by 40 and it works great on a 22. That's pretty nice. But uh, if you never want it to break, this is really the option you want to go with. Anyway, uh, if you guys do own the Lee priming tool, leave your experience in the comments below. I actually really do want to hear it. If you do have the Frankfurt Arsenal, I mean, leave your experience as well. If you have them both, well, let me know. Say it in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys, uh, I hope you found this useful. I hope this influences your purchase experience so you don't make the same mistakes I do. Yes, <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time on Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Mm -hmm.